This is a quick video on how to capture a single image with an x-ray vision. Once you have your patient's uh, chart, imaging chart open, you'll see their name in the upper left hand corner, the lower right hand corner, and if you click on open patient, you can also verify the patient's name there. We're going to choose the capture single icon at your toolbar. For training purposes, I'm going to choose my simulator. You would be choosing your sensor. And then from here, I'm going to select the teeth that I need to capture. So if I want to capture one, if I want to identify this as one PA on number five, I would just left click on number five. If I wanted to capture three, four, and five in that image and associate those teeth numbers with that image, I would click on the left and hold and drag across. And from here, it's asking you, this is an intraoral x-ray, we're going to say OK. And then you would prepare, take the image on the patient. So we would then have our taken date, the time of acquisition, and our tooth numbers associated with this image. If you needed to modify the teeth numbers associated with this image, you simply right click tooth information and uncheck the teeth that you no longer want associated with that and highlight the ones that you would want associated and gray them out. So I'm just going to select number five and that'll change. Now this tooth is image is just number five. So right click tooth information and highlight the teeth that you want associated with that. You can click OK and it will ask you once you've modified those teeth to save that image. I would say save and you will always find your patient images in this open folder and under that green arrow and it will pull up all of your patients by imaging type or by tooth, or by date, and even bringing that down into uh, the months and the dates. Your most recent image will always be here. You can actually see the date there if you hover over it with your cursor. Um, image data pops up as well. Double click on it to open this single image. You can use your brightness contrast toolbar here on the right side. The tag on the right would change the brightness and the tag on the bottom would change contrast or you can work from the cross in the middle to work those both at the same time. When you're through with your image and your patient, please, if they're leaving your room, please click on close all. When you're finished with your patient, it'll ask you to save don't save it if you don't want to save those modifications. But when you leave your room, please close all, and that way you're in nobody's chart.